In the Centaur constellation, there's a star system of Alpha Centauri, which consists of three stars. Inside of this southern constellation lies something truly remarkable, Chbilsky's star. It weighs four times the mass of the Sun and is 365 light years from Earth. Regular stars resemble thermonuclear engines, which synthesize heavier elements inside their nucleus. But Chbilsky's star creates elements that aren't typically found in stars or elements yet to be discovered. In this video, you will learn what makes the Chbilsky star so unique. Are there any elements that we haven't discovered yet? Can extraterrestrial civilizations use this star as a radioactive waste disposal site? The Mystery of Chbilsky's Star Scientific Explanation or Traces of Extraterrestrial Civilizations Subscribe to our channel to see all our content and watch the next episodes even sooner. HD 101065 or the Chbilsky Star but we might as well call it plutonium because it seems to have a lot of plutonium as well as other super heavy elements which are simultaneously unstable and very short-living. However, these elements shouldn't be there, and their presence can be explained by one of these options. First, there are some elements which we didn't expect to find in nature. Second, postulating the existence of super-heavy elements is a mistake to begin with. Or third, aliens created artificial elements and dumped them into this star. Let's find out which one it is. Do you know what makes this object so unique? Its highly unique spectrum. Everyone who has seen it claims it was one of the weirdest star spectrums they have ever come across. A spectrum reveals which elements a star contains. The stumbling block for the researchers was that they couldn't get comprehensive data on how many elements it contains. Some scientists talk about an infinite number of lines, which makes them impossible to study in detail. How can this be? Astronomers have studied the Chbilsky star since the 1960s, but to this day, they have no idea what elements it consists of. One theory suggests this might be because it contains elements and isotopes scientists have never discovered in nature. The data was obtained using one of the methods which connects the type of light emitted by a star with elements it contains. The results made scientists realize their previous conclusions concerning the contents of HD 101065 were inconsistent. First, it appears from the spectrum that it contains almost no iron, which is very strange by itself. Most stars survive by fusing lighter elements with heavier ones, and these fusions often result in iron or some other elements. Second, this star is rich in lanthanides, even heavier elements, such as holmium and europium, which are present in lesser quantities in common stars. At the same time, Professor Chbilsky has suggested that this star has existed long enough to create a lot of heavy elements. According to several studies, this star also contains atoms that are not supposed to be there. In particular, atoms of promethium and plutonium. These elements and their isotopes have a relatively short half-life, a period it takes half the atoms of a radioactive substance to decompose. For example, promethium has a half-life period of less than 20 years. Plutonium has a maximum half-life period of about 24,000 years, which is a relatively small number for a star. This means that if those elements aren't new compositions or they aren't being replenished, they should have completely decomposed by the time when people appeared and learned how to use telescopes. So far, there are several possible explanations. Astronomers argue that these atoms could have appeared as a result of creating a supernova, or current reactions catalyzed by a neutron star close by. Unfortunately, very little data support these theories. However, there might exist another possible explanation which has nothing to do with the latter. Chbilsky's star might contain some super heavy elements and isotopes which haven't been discovered yet. After some time, these super heavy atoms can break down into short-living isotopes that we can observe. In particular, these atoms can belong to the following three elements. Fluorovium, Unbehexium, or Unbenillium. 
Scientists have managed to create as few as 100 atoms of fluorovium in the laboratory setting. As for unbehexium and unbenillium, they exist only in theory. We haven't yet discovered any of these elements in nature. If the described theory is correct, studying Chbilsky's star will enable us to explore these elements in real life. There is a slight chance that isotopes inside this heavenly body are a part of the so-called stability island, a hypothetical group of super-heavy and super-stable elements which have long been pursued by scientists. But today, it's clear that everything is not that easy. Thanks to the scientific findings, we know that Chbilsky's star belongs to a special type of AP stars, or chemically peculiar A stars. As a rule, regular A-type stars are hot and don't have a magnetic field. But AP stars are cold on the surface. They have a strong magnetic field and quite long rotation periods. For some reason, these stars contain lots of lanthanides and little iron. So this means the Chbilsky star is not that unique after all. As if strange chemical composition wasn't enough, Chbilsky star is noted for its unusual movement pattern. A new analysis led by researchers from the Leibniz Institute for Astrophysics Potsdam in Germany has discovered that HD 101065 isn't just composed of bizarre stuff, it also exhibits bizarre movement. And a team from Chile discovered that the star's rotation period stretches out over 188 years. Our analysis of newly acquired and historic longitudinal magnetic field measurements indicates that Chbilsky's star is also unusual with respect to its extremely slow rotation, the researchers state. That's a pretty long time for a star to do a 360, although slow rotation could be considered normal for AP stars, as I mentioned earlier. There is a chance that we've misinterpreted some information which means that the Chbilsky star doesn't contain short-living isotopes. After all, this star's spectrum is difficult to identify. Spectrums usually have several relatively clear lines that correspond to various elements. But when it comes to this star, such lines occur almost everywhere. This has sparked a lively discussion as to what goes on, which continues even today. There is a questionable but quite popular theory which suggests that the star's composition resembles the products of artificial nuclear fission. Back in 1980, American scientists Daniel Whitmire and Jason Wright suggested that extraterrestrial civilizations can use their stars to store nuclear waste. They even pointed out that type A stars, such as Chbilsky's star, are most probably where this waste can be found. Such short-living, apparently artificial elements in A-type stars can be really seen as evidence of an artifact of a well-known SETI program. Rest assured, we will find an answer to the question of how these elements appeared on this star. Nonetheless, we should keep on trying to reveal this mystery, because even if a SETI artifact won't find the evidence of the existence of extraterrestrial civilization, these findings will be of great interest to the scientists. Quite recently, scientists came up with a hypothesis that can explain the anomalous chemical contents of the star. It is based on the fact that a neutron star influences the atmosphere of Chbilsky's star, with which it makes up a closely linked system. Theoretically speaking, this hypothesis can be feasible. However, there's a big caveat. There are no neutron stars around. Indeed, scientists from the University of South Wales hypothesize that actinides in Chbilsky's star can be the evidence of slow degradation of super-heavy elements. The theory posits the existence of a so-called stability island that includes elements with a nucleus containing 114 or more protons. These are super-heavy elements, but at the same time, they are long-living. If we hypothesize the existence of such elements, then short-living plutonium, einsteinium, and other elements found on this star will simply be degradation products. In other words, we can discover a new isotope obtained as an element that exists in nature. Don't be surprised, there is nothing special. For example, helium was first found on the Sun. I think we all agree that Chbilsky's star's unique properties will remain a mystery for many scientists all around the world well into the future. 
For surely, whatever the answer to the mystery of Chbilsky's star might be, it's very exciting to know. What secret do you think it hides? Write what you think in the comments below this video. Subscribe to our channel and don't forget to hit the like button so we can see how many outer space enthusiasts are out there.